All right, well, the Biden administration came out today and said they are no longer going to be doing any work site uh, raids for unauthorized immigrants. So if you are an undocumented or unauthorized immigrant working in the United States, you can now feel safe going to work. In a memo, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said the Department of Homeland Security should be prioritizing combating illegal acts committed by unscrupulous employers, whom he noted often pay workers substandard wages, subject them to unsafe working conditions, and facilitate human trafficking. Our worksite enforcement efforts can have a significant impact on the well-being of individuals and the fairness of the labor market. Our accomplishments in this area make clear that we can maximize the impact of our efforts by focusing on unscrupulous employers. Now, you may remember the Trump administration, they were the polar opposite. In the summer of 2019, mm -hmm. the Trump administration carried out the largest single state immigration enforcement in United States history, arresting nearly 700 undocumented food processing plant workers in Mississippi. These were the people who are processing meats and things of that nature. All of them, just hardworking people, doing jobs Americans didn't want to do. They're the ones who are in substandard working conditions sometimes. They're the ones who are getting underpaid what an American would get paid, even if an American would want the job, which they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones who ultimately got arrested, put in jail, and ultimately deported without any, as far as we're aware, penalties by the employer. It is the United States employer, it's the US corporations, it's individual people who in their mom and pops and in their homes, that cause ultimately the immigration issues that we face today. Mm. They are offering jobs to people at lower wages and people say jobs and those lower wage jobs are still better jobs than what they can get in their home country. So as a result, they'll figure out a way to get here. Whether it's get a visa and overstay, run across the border, get put in the trunk of a car, come across from Canada, I've seen it all. But the point is, is that it's a U.S. employer. If those jobs were not offered and there were no jobs here, you wouldn't have the issues that we have. Or if the U.S. government got their act together and was able to have a sane immigration programs where they can match people to jobs and have them paid normal wages, mm -hmm. real wages, have real working conditions, and have the ability to leave and come and leave and come, and then take your income that you earn and perhaps even your social security that you paid into the US government. You know, people pay into social security, but if you leave the country, you can't get it mm -hmm. legally. You know, people get around it sometimes, but legally you can't get it. Maybe have a way to collect your social, you paid into it, you know, and then leave at the end. You know, especially people on work visas, they're paying into social security, they never see that money back. Right. So the point is, is that employers are the ones, US companies, you hear people say, we, you know, we don't want immigrants. They do want, they just don't want to pay real wages. A lot of people make a lot of money on the status quo. Today's memo is part of the Biden administration's efforts to narrow who can be detained and deported by ICE. Deportation agents have already been directed to refrain from arresting pregnant or nursing women, victims of serious crimes, and undocumented immigrants who don't have serious criminal records. They have now added to this, anybody working in an employment area is now going to be off limits. Basically, you gotta commit a crime now. You gotta be arrested on a criminal activity or be stopped at the border or near a border to come across immigration. So, I mean, if you've been here for years and you're minding your own business and you're working, immigration's not coming for you. That's basically what the Biden administration is saying. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.